What's up guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to Dime Up Cuz. Uh, before we get into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride. And uh, yeah, I know I've been gone for about a few weeks now. Uh, I just had some issues I had to take care of like school work and things of that nature. So now I'm officially back and this is my coming back video for like the second time. <laughs> so if you could tell by the title of this video, uh, according to the NBA, Nikola Jokic is not an MVP. Um, Nikola Jokic, after the first week of this season, or the first few, or the first, not the first week, but the first seven games, he's been looking MVP caliber, putting up like 25, 11, or, and 10, or something like that. I can't remember off the bat. Um, that's MVP type numbers, especially for a center nowadays. A center nowadays is supposed to be able to shoot the three with the evolution of the NBA, going more towards a three ball. And centers or players who cannot shoot the three ball consistently or can at least shoot have gone into obscurity. Bruh. Um, but, yeah, Nikola Jokic is one of those players who was able to adapt his game to be able to shoot a three ball consistently. Um, and I don't see why the NBA doesn't think he's top three in MVPs. Um, I think the top three that they had today that they released was like LeBron, Luka, and Paul George. Yeah. Paul George. Now, Jokic could be fourth, but I'm just going to say, hey, he's not top three, which he should be. Now, I'm not expecting Jokic to, let's say, to keep the same stats for the entire season. Um, and maybe that's why the NBA is saying, hey, He's not top three, but anyway, I feel like it's a marketing strategy because it's a two, the top three most top my, most top players in that top three. LeBron James, you know, just being LeBron, Luka being Luka, and Paul George with his slander. So um, I don't see why they don't have Kawhi. I mean, not Kawhi, my goodness, Nikola Jokic as, a, uh, as top three. Um, he's been playing MVP caliber. And I know that these players won't keep the same numbers for the entire season. So Especially why Paul is George. Jokic um, there as well, up there as well. I mean, he will be. And I know this mock will change throughout the season. So I'm not just going to go out on a whim and say that Nikola Jokic isn't going to be a uh, top three MVP. But as the season goes on, I feel like that will change and some people will drop or rise. Now going on to the next topic, the, to the Raptors are in trouble. Um, the Raptors are in trouble. Oh my. Um, I think they're like, they're like in Orlando or something. Like they are not in Toronto, Canada. I don't think they are. So I feel like that's one reason why they've been sucking this year. They're like, have what, two wins or something like that? One or two wins. Um, I haven't been watching much of their basketball, usually because I've been busy. Um, but yeah, man, they're in trouble. Um, that team, to me, doesn't look there mentally. They did lose two key parts to their offense, Mark Gasol and Serge Ibaka. But um, I feel like Pascal should be there to carry the load or at least do a little bit of something because Pascal, it seems like he's regressed heavily. And I don't know why. Is it because they're not in Toronto, Canada? Or is it because they're just they're not as good as they were before had they lost all their confidence you know because if we go back their confidence was pretty nice you know they had like they had pretty good confidence you know that's how they got uh into the playoffs and things like that you know but i feel like the pascal did regress heavily and um i'm very 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 worried for this raptors team and i've been saying this for the past month or few weeks now that in a couple of years, I feel in at least by next season or in the year, the season after next, that they're going to blow it up. They're going to at least trade Kyle Lowry. They're going to keep, o they locked up OG Ananobi. They locked up Pascal. They got young guys coming in. I feel like they're going to blow it up and start a rebuild um, because this team is, was, is not the same without Kawhi. Kawhi was that guy who was going to lead that team over the hump. So, um, yeah, man, I feel like the, that's the reason why the Raptors are in trouble because they don't have that go-to guy anymore. I mean, I, Pascal is pretty good. He's a very good NBA player. He's very good. But 
when they had that championship and had that success, Kawhi was number one, Kyle was number two, Siakam was number three. So yeah, man, they don't they have a number three playing a number one and a number two playing number number three. Or a number three playing number one, number two playing one. They actually need that guy or somebody needs to step up and be that guy. You know? And I feel like and another thing I think is that uh, Fred Van Vliet and Kyle Lowry should not be on the floor at the same time, especially when they're first starting off games. I just don't feel like it's a, it's going to work for them because I feel like Fred Van Vliet is a player who's going to have the ball in his hands as well as Kyle Lowry, who's going to have the ball in his hands, who's going to work. So I don't feel, I feel like that Fred Van Vliet should come off the bench uh if he isn't already i haven't watched any of uh, their barely any of their games yet because i've been busy but anyway um let me know your thoughts about nikola Jokic and the raptors down in the description below tomorrow the, the video is going to be about julius randall and the new york knicks because they have been going crazy my boy um something i never expected from the knicks nor from julius randall no disrespect to julius randall julius randall to me is a pretty okay nba player he's an 80 like I think I saw the roster update. He's like an 83 now in 2K. So I guess they said he's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, man, bro had like 30 points. He had like a triple-double one night. He's looking he's looking like a really good NBA player. And I'm, oh my goodness, I'm excited to see him uh, play the rest of this season, this shortened season. So let me know your thoughts down in the, script, uh, down in the comments below about everything. And yeah, man. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dime. Peace out, 100.